Hello everyone, my name is Rob and I'm actually going to be starting up this channel as of today. Um, I am going to be doing Gunpla or Model Kit unboxings and reviews. Um, I don't really plan on being famous or anything. This is just a hobby of mine that I have been interested in doing and I did have a channel devoted to it not too long ago, but decided to just kind of restart and do like a revamp of it because I wasn't exactly happy with how it was turning out to be. And this is just going to be an unboxing and review channel, mainly just for kits that I actually do enjoy. Uh, I do keep up with the current product and the releases that come out of uh, model kits, but I generally kind of stick to more like ones that I actually really, really enjoy. I'm, I'm not the type of person to run down to like Barnes & Noble or run down to like my local bookstore if they have it or even Target now and buy model kits because to me that's just is silly and doesn't really make any sense. I think that you should enjoy your model kits and get exactly what you want and everything. And I have been doing this for about nine years now. I started in 2013. And I started with no grades. Before that, I was one of those kids who watched Gundam on Toonami uh, back in the early days of the anime boom in 2001, 2000, 2001 and stuff. And got my first model kits, the no grade ones back then. But long since threw those out because obviously I didn't know anything about, you know, building model kits. I didn't know anything about panel lining and everything. So I kind of just did my own thing. And then my wife actually convinced me to kind of get back into it because we were talking one day and she decided hey you know why don't you try building model kits again you just seem to kind of enjoy that so I did and the rest as you can see is history so recently my birthday came around so this is going to be my birthday haul uh this year so I just got three kits um I did get master grade decals for Charizaku 2.0 and I will probably be doing a review of him shortly um but in the meantime this is all what I got so first off we have the high grade Gundam Barbados or Barbatos, whichever one you'd like to prefer. And this is a very fun and simple model kit. Uh, it's very, very easy to put together. And this is just gonna be mainly a quick, quick build. Uh, I'm gonna panel line it. I'm going to also paint the mace. Let's see if I can find the mace right here. We have the mace right here and right here, the pieces right here for these two, if you can see them. I'm gonna be painting those black only because I don't really like the gray color scheme of it. I want it to look a little bit more menacing. As you can see the instruction manual, very, very, very small. I mean, this is just a very fun kit. This was only about $13. So you can always get these relatively cheap. I know, especially with the gun plus shortage going on, it can be difficult to get model kits, but there are still some available. Just kind of try to buy kits that you feel are, that you're comfortable with and that are easy to get. Um, a lot of the newer models that have come out within the past two, three years may be a little bit more accessible than the ones that are like years old, which are what these two are going to be. So the first off is going to be the Master Grade GP01 Full Burnham. And um, yeah, it's a big box, uh, not as big as the second one. But so this came out in 1997. This came out in late 1997. So this is a 25 year old kit. And as you can see, very, very nice. I miss these to death. Uh, these little you know, inserts and everything. I know they don't do these anymore, but then you have the runners. You've got the decal stickers. This is just going to be panel lined. I'm going to paint some of the plate pieces on them to make it look a little bit more realistic. Uh, I'm going to be painting inside like the thrusters and stuff and maybe just doing some touch ups, panel lining, putting decals on it and everything and just, you know, trying to make it look as nice as possible and realistic. I know that's funny saying realistic on a um, plastic model kit. And this, you can tell the color is a little bit different. They were all back, you know, during this time in the late 90s, they were more, the yellow was a little bit more like a different tone. It was uh, darker. So, or the white was a little bit more darker. It looked more like, like, like a yellowish white. And as you can see, the model kits, uh, these don't have inner frames. The older kits didn't tend to have inner frames. The first inner frame ones, I believe, were the G Gundam model kits. Those were the first ones to have complete inner frames. Uh, and those came out in the early 2000s, I believe it was 2001. So, yeah, definitely, definitely a step forward. Obviously, nowhere near as good as the ones nowadays. And I do wish that we would get 2.0s of some of these, but I don't really see Bandai doing that right now. They're focusing on real grades and focusing on the series that are coming out and stuff. So, like, model kits from the series, like, 
War in the Pocket, Stardust Memory, 8S Team, you know, all the ones that were in the, like, 90s and even in the late 80s and stuff aren't really going to be recognized. And then we have, last but not least, the big boy. I can't even put this on the screen. Um, the Master Grade GPO2 Physis. And this guy is huge. The box is massive. Um, so, yeah, this is was something I really, really did want. Is just an, a massive kit. Um, this kit is not also for beginners because the arms don't really support the shield. It's actually a gimmick and like a meme that the shield they can't support the shield. But I bought this because I did like the mobile suit and I wanted to actually build it. And this is massive. <laughs> the, the little stand out of it is just huge too. Um, yeah, the mat, it can't hold the shield at all. Um, I don't plan on posing it with the shield. I'll maybe take a few pictures and then, you know, that's it. Um, but other than that, I don't plan on putting it with the shield. So you can see there's a lot of runners in here. Hilariously, the giant piece of plastic, and like for this, this is like the, uh, the shield. It's hilarious. And this also doesn't have an inner frame. This came out in early, of ni early 1998, so this is almost as old. And as you can see, this is something I actually wanted to pick up. And the color is a little bit off. You can see it's an off, off white. Uh, these, like I said before, these kits tended to have more off white, and obviously they changed a lot since then. But yeah, this is that was it for my haul. Um, yeah, this is just going to be a fun channel. I'm not going to be posting regularly. This is not meant. I'm not meant to be fame. I don't want to be famous. Uh, I just don't want like I'm not looking to have a hundred like a hundred two hundred thousand subscribers and stuff if I did get people who do watch the channel I do appreciate it you guys are really more than welcome to but I'm just you know trying to document my series into Gumpla and just all of my favorite things that I like to do and this is one of them um, I do have a channel dedicated to card games but this is mainly gonna be a channel just dedicated to model kit building and everything where our, um, I'm just going to have fun with it. So, yeah, that's going to be all for this video. I know it was kind of long, but I wanted to kind of get everything out and just introduce my channel and introduce everything to you, the viewer, so you can watch it. And this is going to be a, a vlog of just all my kits and everything that I have because I collect mostly, I have kits that I want. I don't have anywhere near as many kits as I used to. I actually have hardly any at this point because I ended up getting rid or selling them and stuff or just getting rid of them because I wasn't really happy with them and everything and I wanted to start fresh. Um, because this this hobby is just like any other hobby. You, you take it seriously, but this is more of an art form because you're putting a lot of love and effort into these kids and just wanting to make them look good. So, all right, so that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching that. And with that, I'll see you guys next time. Later.